that's the last of it. We are dust free. Ah, cleaning day. Every citadel of justice should have its spans as spick as we do. Yes. A and Tick, this time, let's try to keep it that way for more than five minutes. Five minutes. Check. Oh, I just remembered. Speak's been soaking all morning. The apartment lies clean. Soft underbelly exposed. Vulnerable. Who can tell where Dirty will strike next? <laughs> Arthur! Monkey out of nowhere! <laughs> Monkey Man, no! What did you do? <laughs> Don't move, Arthur. It's got a timer. Must be some kind of monkey bomb. Gotta think quickly before she blows. Now, which button to push? Tick! Don't touch! The red one! Of course! No! So, this is what Kingdom Come is like. What? Oh, these... these footprints. I've seen them before. In the... in the Natural History Museum. Oh, come on. Mega... Me mega... Mega... Sounds big. Mega... Megatherium! The giant sloth! But, but, Tick, those animals have been extinct for millions of... <laughs> Arthur, he means to peel you like a grape! Stop facing me! Let me make this plain herbivore. Arthur is neither vegetable nor fruit! A giant sloth! That's impossible, except... Dick, we're... we're millions of years in the past. It's not a monkey bomb. It's a time machine! Well, it was a time machine, chum. It got smashed by Mega Mega Mega. Ah! Dick, without that machine, we're stranded here in prehistory forever! <laughs> we're gonna grow old and die, Dick, before we've even been born! Well, look at us. <laughs> we'll never see our friends again! <laughs> You're the one who did this to us. I want to go home! You put me back where you found me! Now! <laughs> Come on, Arthur. They're just little monkey people. <laughs> Besides, I'm sure we'll have this baby working again in no time. Dear Dot, I hope you get this letter. The Tick and I are trapped at the dawn of humanity. We live with a tribe of Australopithecines. They're the missing link between man and ape, which means they don't know anything. I tried to show them how to make fire, but it just made them uncomfortable. Being stuck here doesn't seem to bother Tick the way it does me. He still goes on patrol every day. And at night, he spins yarns around the fire. Yeah, so this crazy guy wanted to carve his name into the moon. <laughs> oh, yes, and dig this. He had a chair for a head. <laughs> oh, a uh, uh, chair. Uh, huh. Chair. It's like, uh, well, you know, it's like a, a, a little tree you sit on. Ah, yeah, it's uh, like a. <clears throat> I. Uh... Every night I sit and dream of going home, where all my friends are, where it's clean. God, I haven't taken a bath in six months. Anyway, I should probably go now. Today's my birthday. I think I'll celebrate by inventing agriculture. Chisel that letter! 
<laughs> oh, would you stop grunting? We're civilized human beings, Tick. We don't grunt. Oh. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, but listen, Arthur, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> you are gonna love it. Tick? What, what is this? <laughs> oh, now, Arthur, I know you've been feeling just a little down lately, and I wanted to do something special for your birthday. <laughs> so I invented music! Hit it, boys! <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. <laughs> what do you think, Arthur? <laughs> Australopithecine tribal formation located. Excellent. They're perfect. Seize them. <laughs> Happy birthday, Arthur. <laughs> amid the heady romance of the way we were. At the tar pits, you can see how fossils are made. Whoops, bye-bye for now. For the wildlife enthusiast, we offer a rare treat. Observe the mighty beasts of yore in their natural habitats. And then eat them in our elegant dining room. Cooked to perfection and served by our newly acquired tribe of Australopithecine waiters. They're not surly, they're savage. <laughs> Who are you? And what do you want with us? <laughs> Clean glasses! <gasps> Napkins! Oh, ice cubes! Fresh iced tea! Get your filthy paws off that beverage, you dirty ape! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorry about the mess. Our iced tea is just that good. <laughs> Uh, hang on, tribe. Hold tight, birthday boy. I'm coming for you. Ah! Ah! Sneaky hole. All right, you hairy subhumans, listen up. This morning, my entire staff of waiters quit on me. They got tired of commuting 3.6 million years to work every morning, I guess. Oh, and of course, the tips were lousy. Ooh, ooh. Uh. Hey, dirtball! Cut the monkey jumbo! Um, excuse me. Hello. Uh, I'm from the late 20th century, and I, I, I speak English. Oh, look at me! Look at me! I have speech on our special! Listen, pal, the guests at my hotel are from 3.6 million years in the future! They've got class! There's no time for sniffling. We're at peak season right now. Every room is booked. You'll work 16 hour shifts or suffer the consequences. You can't do this to them. They're gentle creatures. They can't stand up to the rigors of the hospitality industry. Silence, tea thief. Bellbots, deal out these unevolved small heads and get them ready to serve. Well, it'll take more than a game of hot foot with Mother Earth to keep the tick from friends in need. Hot! Oh! Oh! Wah. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Ow! Ah! Ah! 
Dear Dot, I hope you got my rock. I'm writing you from the restaurant where I work with the rest of the tribe. I guess the Pleistocene Epoch is a popular vacation spot for people from the distant, distant future. We started yesterday. First, they hosed us down. Then they gave us the previous waiters' uniforms. The restaurant was packed with the future of humanity. And boy, were they hungry. OK, OK. Three medium rare glyptodons in the shell, Lega Belugitherium and plum sauce. Um, and Kenny, you're having the spiced arsenotherium stew, right? Oh, and some more breadsticks. Uh, waiter, what are your specials for tonight? <clears throat> Excuse me, waiter. Could we have some fresh ground pepper on our salads? <laughs> no, no, no! Salad fork on the left! Hey, cut it out! What? Let me try to put a little sense into your big future head! These guys are Australopithecines. They're like one day out of the tree, okay? They don't know salad, they don't know fork, and they don't know left! Well, if you're so blasted evolved, then you teach them! Or there's going to be a new dish on tonight's menu. Oh, hang it. They're little buddies. The tick is gonna take a nap. Good morning, nature, red in tooth and claw. The ancient cave bear battling its natural enemy, the robot. Ouch. Hey, wait a minute. That's one of the robots who stole my tribe. Well, I'll just get to the bottom of this. <laughs> you won't be dining on gears and pistons today. Okay, Sparky, now you're gonna take me to my friends! I admire your strength. You could, 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 could lift a lot of luggage. I will help you. Uh huh, a luxury hotel. Well, there's a little piece of prehistory they don't teach you in school. Better play along with their crazy game. M -m my friend here needs a job. Can he lift a lot of luggage? He can. <sighs> Shouldn't be hard to spot a monkey in this barrel. <clears throat> of course, it's a pretty big barrel. Attention, time tourists. Please avoid making eye contact with your waiters and don't smile at them. They take this as an act of hostility. Excuse me, I'd like to register a complaint about those waiters. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know you miss your tubers, but you see, that's what I'm saying. You're being exploited. The management of this hotel is your enemy. You have nothing to lose but your chains. You have nothing to gain but your freedom. I say we strike a blow for human dignity. I say evolution now! <laughs> oh, in other words, uh... <laughs> But, sir, that's exactly what sets our hotel apart from other resorts. Where else can you have your grubby primal ancestry take your drink orders? Our waiter ate our appetizers and then bit my leg. Well, they're paid to be authentic. Hello, Miss Hunt. <coughs> Arthur, where are you? Can you hear me, monkey friends? Where are you? It's the big ape! Bellbots! Seize him! 
bind him with his own baggage. Oh, 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 that's the tick. He's here and he needs our help. I regret this. You are the best. Welcome to our luggage room. This is where we send and receive luggage from the distant future. Prehuman, you embarrassed me in front of a guest. Well, now you'll be my guest on a little trip. Several little trips. Has your leg ever had an itch to visit the pyramids of ancient Egypt while it was still fresh? Or perhaps your arm wants to take a vacation during the French Revolution? <laughs> you see, I'm going to send you to several different periods in time. One piece at a time. <laughs> A time machine! Oh, okay, here's the plan. Uh, oh, 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 no, 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 wait, it's, oh, yeah. Oh, ah, oh, 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 oh. Now, how does this thing work? Okay, let's go! Now, which part of your body should we start with? How about the part you'd miss the least? <laughs> Oh, this is really pathetic. Bellbots, crush the wavering staff, please. Where's that beeping coming from? Time for you to open up a new hotel at the beginning of the universe. Monkey bunny, I'll get you for this. Tick, are you okay? His head! Men in plaid. <laughs> Hi. Uh, uh, what time is it? Oh, about 10.30. Jerry, I'm gonna need a five iron on this one. Oh, he's just no good without his head. Whoa. Hole in one. Tick! Oh, thank goodness. Now, let's get our tribe out of here and get ourselves back home. <laughs> Calm down, calm down. Uh, 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 uh. Arthur, the clock, lad, the clock. Do you see what time it is? It's only been three minutes since we left. Why, we've just spent six months, three and a half million years ago in the time it takes to soft boil an egg. Arthur. The fourth dimension is just one big, crazy, do not enter clam bank jungle of weirdity. And how does it work? Never mind. Tick, I think it's time to clean up. Hey, gang, Fiona Zimmer writes Dear Tick, why are boys always mean to girls? Well, the body of the average boy is a strange battleground, a volcanic mess of snakes and snails and puppy dog tails. Meanness breeds like mosquito larvae in their derelict kitty pool hearts. I understand, Fiona. Why, indeed? Girls of the world, unite and take over! Groovy all-female world now!